All right, welcome everyone. Hopefully everyone can hear me. Good afternoon, my name is Yasmina Sisrak and I am hosting uh, today's webinar. Thank you again for joining us for our COVID-19 webinar series. They're presented by the Health Matters Program at the Department of Disability and Human Development at the University of Illinois through continued partnership with Project Search and their funding from the Ohio Developmental Disabilities Council and collaboration with Aspire Community Services in Illinois. Um, for today's presentation, our, um, we are presenting on exercise as a human right, providing inclusive physical fitness opportunities to people with intellectual and developmental disabilities during the pandemic and beyond. Um, I am very excited about this presentation. I want to just read a little bit about it. Um, um, there is a, um, the Spirit Club is a community gym in the suburbs of, suburbs of Washington, D.C. has opened the doors to inclusive fitness opportunities and engagement for people with intellectual and developmental disabilities, their families, and the community-based organizations, organizations serving them. Today, Spirit Club provides meaningful exercise activities to its members and agency partners across the country by offering hour-long classes either aired live or available on demand virtually, including yoga, Zumba, boxing, meditation, and three different types of fitness classes focusing on strength, balance, and cardio. With its commitment to serving the community, Spirit Club established a partner foundation that works to increase access to exercise for those with disabilities by overcoming whatever barriers may stand in the way. This webinar will be introducing Spirit Club its components and programs and give you information on how to get involved. So I wanted to um, introduce the three presenters. Jared is, um, after graduating from the University of Maryland with a BA in psychology, he received his personal trainer certification from NASM and began working two jobs. One is a fitness trainer at the local gym and the other is a support counselor for adults with disabilities including autism, Down syndrome, and cere cerebral palsy. In 2012, Jared founded Spirit Club, a fitness organization that provides specialized programs that accommodate people of all abilities, including those with physical and developmental disabilities. David Godoy is a, uh, is a fitness demonstrator and administrative staff member for the Spirit Club. David was born with cerebral palsy and has faced many challenges and obstacles along the way but he did not let it stop him from achieving his goals and dreams. He wanted to have a job and be an example to others. Today, David leads exercises for Spirit Club's virtual programming three days a week, and he's a true example to others on and off the screen. We also um, will uh, have Steve Brown, who is an executive director of um, the Ark of Haywood. He has, he has or the Ark of Haywood has contracted with Spirit Club um, and they wanted to talk a little bit about their experiences with Spirits Club. Okay, welcome everyone. Um, we are recording this presentation and we will make it available. Um, and then um, uh, feel free to ask questions um, at the end of the um, uh, presentation. There will be about 10 to 15 minutes of uh, question and answer session. Um, Jared, welcome. Awesome. Thank you. What a nice introduction. I love it. And I do see Steve is here also and David, who are the real stars of the show. But in the meantime, I am happy and excited and very grateful to have the chance to talk to you all, this wonderful audience, everybody who's able to join and uh, listen to this in real time and anybody watching the recording. This is a great privilege to have the chance to speak to you and um, have the chance to share uh, with you some information about Spirit Club, which I'm very proud to have um, developed and made available for all of you. So thank you so much um, for the opportunity to be here. And I'm here to share uh, information uh, along the lines of this wonderful title which is exercise as a human right, providing inclusive physical fitness to people with intellectual and developmental disabilities during the pandemic and beyond. So this is an important topic. Um, obviously, we know exercise is important for everybody. Um, and 
obviously that means people with disabilities uh, need to benefit from exercise the same way everybody else does. So we are going to talk a little bit about the ways that Spirit Club makes those opportunities available. So a little bit of background so you guys know uh, who you're listening to. Um, so my name is Jared, and in 2012, I started working um, two jobs. I got one job as a support counselor, uh, working with uh, adults with intellectual and developmental disabilities. And my other job was a personal trainer at a gym. And uh, I really loved both of these jobs. Um, I loved working with people with disabilities and um, trying to really connect with each person on an individual level and figure out how can I enhance their lives. And I also really loved being a trainer and leading exercise for people. Um, because for me, exercise was always a really convenient outlet for me, um, not only to stay physically fit, but also um, that was kind of my social outlet. For me, like, I didn't have great social skills growing up, but I could walk onto a basketball court and start shooting and pass the ball to whoever was next to me. And before I knew it, you know, we were friends without really having to communicate. So I always found exercise and athletics to be a really authentic, natural way to socialize and just feel a part of a, a community. Um, so I loved being a support counselor and I loved teaching exercise. Um, and then the first thing that really stuck out to me was that everybody who I worked with as a support counselor had a exercise or a fitness or at least a health related goal and a very specific goal that I knew as a trainer exercise could contribute to. So as a trainer, I was super excited to try to take on, you know, those health and fitness goals. And my first thought was to bring people to the gym where I worked because uh, I had that connection to a community gym. But I was quickly uh, kind of hit over the head with how disconnected the fitness industry was from the disability community. And from everything from the culture and the environment, all the way to the machines and the equipment, and to the programs and the classes offered, there was nothing about the gym where I worked that, that showed any interest or accommodations or adaptability to be supportive for those with disabilities. And so that was really the kind of aha moment, the inspiration to develop an organization that would be more universally designed, uh, which is a, a term my, my wife, who's a special education teacher, taught me, um, to make exercise programming more universally designed so that people, not only those without disabilities, not only the general population could benefit from exercise, but everybody, people with disabilities, people without disabilities together. Um, one stat that kind of stuck out to me when I started doing some research was I found out that people with disabilities are 58% more likely to be obese than the general population. And that was a really um, kind of standout statistic to me because I knew that the general population in this country was struggling with obesity. So to now say that people with disabilities are 58% more likely um, that was just, you know, something that really highlighted how few opportunities there are for people with disabilities to be able to target those goals. Even if they have a weight loss goal, um, you need an outlet, you need a resource to be able to make progress towards a goal. And I didn't see those resources out in the, the general fitness industry. So that was where the inspiration for Spirit Club came from. The first person I met along the way, uh, I brought up the idea of a fitness class to the agency where I worked is a wonderful agency called the Jubilee Association in Maryland. And the first thing that they said was, you have to meet Sam. Uh, Sam was a, a client receiving services from Jubilee. And they said, Sam's been talking about a fitness program forever. He's been trying to start teaching exercise for, for us. And they said, you know, you, you need to meet up with Sam. So I talked to Sam, I uh, learned a lot about him and built a incredible relationship with him. Um, Sam is a marathon runner, and he also has autism. And he's always wanted to be a fitness trainer and teach exercise. So Sam and I teamed up together and came up with a curriculum and spent hours and hours thinking about how we could make a awesome, supportive exercise class. And together we started teaching weekly exercise classes. Originally, it was specifically for the agency where I worked. 
And it was actually hosted at the gym where I worked, which was which was pretty fun to kind of bring my two bosses and my two worlds together. Um, and from there, you know, it was just this obvious um, realization that Spirit Club was, you know, my professional future, my career path, and something that was going to, you know, fill a need, which is uh, such an important aspect of, you know, finding something to be passionate about. So Sam and I teamed up and started offering universally designed exercise programs. And what I love about Sam is he really exemplifies that concept of universal design because Sam has a disability, but that doesn't mean that the programs need to be modified for him, right? Sam actually now helps us teach the advanced versions of our exercises. And it's mostly many people without disabilities who are looking up to Sam to be really pushed to the, to the limit. Um, we just taught a class today and Sam was leading the challenge version which we'll dive into in a couple minutes. So the mission of Spirit Club is to offer a universal design for fitness that empowers people of all abilities to exercise successfully in a socially integrated setting. And this speaks, I think, to one thing that makes Spirit Club a little bit unique because we're not the only fitness provider that really works to address the specific needs of those with disabilities. But I think we might be the only one that's very, very focused on making um, supportive programming for people with disabilities our priority, but not forgetting about the concept of community integration and bringing people together and not developing a segregated, separate outlet where people with disabilities can exercise um, um, separate from the general population, but figuring out a way to bring people together because we all know that the benefits are so invaluable and they go both ways. One of my favorite parts about Spirit Club classes in the early days hosted at the gym where I worked was not just the value that it brought to the program participants who primarily had disabilities, but the value that it brought to the community members in the gym who were being, now being exposed to people who they've never really noticed or met or even knew existed. And I think that awareness that goes in both directions uh, is something that makes this universal design and the community integration so valuable and so important. So one way that we're able to do this and offer this universal design is by having our, all of our staff and all of our trainers and instructors dual certified. So what you'll find at most gyms is fitness trainers who have this certification on the left. Uh, the good gyms will have trainers who are NCCA accredited uh, who are certified through an NCCA accredited organization, such as NASM, which is my certification, ACE, NCSA, maybe you'll recognize some of these. Um, so this teaches um, people how to be fitness professionals, but it does not teach people how to provide any type of support or services for anyone other than the general population. So what we do is we pair our certifications, our trainers obviously are going to have an NCCA accredited certification, but we also have our trainers complete the same certification that I took to become a support counselor, which is uh, the, the updated uh, certification is the MANT system certification here in Maryland. Um, before this, it was the Behavioral Principles and Strategies, BPS. So this is the, the certification that we have all of our staff complete offered through the Maryland Department of Health Developmental Disabilities Administration. And this ensures that any of our staff are going to be well equipped and well educated and knowledgeable to be able to provide support for a person with a developmental disability, any behaviors associated with their disability, you know how to provide the most positive, meaningful, encouraging, straightforward instructions so that all the programs we teach are keeping in mind this idea of universal design so that a person with a disability can be included can have the same success rate as a person without disability to have a meaningful experience. So here's, I, I had to throw in a quick, a quick little view of our trainers, our wonderful staff who, you know, are the real, um, the real people who are the stars making these programs available and accessible and um, teaching, right, day in and day out, teaching classes for people. Um, and so, you know, they deserve a lot of credit. Um, I do want to share, I'll share a quick success story. Michael was the very first person who 
um, came to me when we first started our classes who said, his, his parents said, um, you know, Michael really needs fitness, but he's not comfortable doing a group class. Can you offer a one-on-one -on -one training for him? And uh, I said, of course. And, and he was another really big um, catalyst to get Spirit Club off the ground because now we went from an organization teaching one or two group classes a week to, okay, now I, I realize I could start to build personal training into the program. So I started meeting with Michael um, multiple times a week for one-on-one -on -one sessions. At the time, he was pushing 300 pounds and in major need for exercise. And he was so um, uncomfortable that I actually um, did all of his sessions in his house. Uh, he couldn't come to the, the gym where we taught. I, uh, you know, he, from a social standpoint, needed me to come do in-home visits, which I was happy to do. Um, and half of those visits ended about 20 minutes in with Michael literally chasing me out of the house. And to see how far he's come, um, not only the 82 pounds lost, um, and he's probably lost more since, since this photo, but even more than that was his development and progress from a social standpoint. Michael comes to our gym now five days a week. He works out with different trainers, uh, not just me. Um, he does the group classes now in addition to the personal training. And he recently started um, an internship where he was helping us with our data collection, greeting people, literally things that I never, never could have imagined he'd be able to do. Forget about the physical progress. I'm just talking about the social and confidence and the progress that he made socially was just unbelievable. And um, obviously there's a lot of factors that go into that, but I have to you know, give credit to him being um, more physically capable, more proud of his, of who he is and his appearance and how he feels. Uh, and, you know, exercise, I just, you know, exercise absolutely changed Michael's life. And by the way, there's a link here. It's shared at the end too. This is a, a really great documentary that it's a three minute mini documentary that an, another Spirit Club member created about Michael, who was really inspired of the Michael story. So. Here's a link that anybody could watch. It's a very short and very, very powerful. So this is all, of course, leading up to coronavirus, right? We could refer to it as BC, before coronavirus, 2012 to 2020. We're working with about 350 people each week, people with disabilities and those without, partnering with about 25 to 30 service providers who are utilizing Spirit Club trainers to come to day programs or residential homes or bring day programs to our gym to teach exercise classes or personal training. Um, and we're teaching classes in about 12 different locations, not only at our gym in Maryland, but at the Under Armour Performance Center in Baltimore or the Chevy Chase Athletic Club near DC. And we're in about 12 different locations teaching our classes. And of course, this all got you know, completely um, a standstill you know, put on hold when coronavirus came along, which was the next chapter. So to adapt to coronavirus, we followed the lead of the rest of the world and uh, developed a virtual platform. And we're very lucky to have just come out with a brand new website, which is gonna be the host, you know, the platform for all of our virtual services. So before I share the website with you guys, I'll just walk you through the different types of programming that we were able to convert to a virtual platform. So today we're able to continue doing our personal training and partner training, uh, which is um, pretty much what it sounds like. We have our personal trainers meet virtually through video chat, Zoom, any type of video chat technology, and still have that interactive face-to-face um, relationship where they can lead, we can lead our members through their personal training routines. Partner training is similar, but we have two people together who are now able to, to meet virtually from the comfort and safety of their own homes and meet with their trainer and still have that partner experience. Our private group classes is where we can offer uh, a group class to a number of people and have our trainer there to lead the group through their own exercise experience, which is a lot of fun. And our daily community classes is really probably our biggest innovative solution. 
to filling the need of meaningful activities because from these top three options, this, um, these are challenging. Personal or partner training could be expensive, you know, to have your trainer do a session just for you or for you and your partner. Private group classes could be hard to coordinate, also have a relatively high price tag. Daily community classes was our solution to fill the need for those who would just come and join our group classes, which um, we weren't able to do in person anymore. So we're very excited about our daily community classes, particularly in how they're utilized by our agency and organization partners. So at this stage, I'll walk you through our daily community classes by sharing my screen with you so you can see what that process is like. And we're lucky to have uh, Steve Brown, who will hopefully be able to chat and tell you about his experiences. Um, until then, I'm just going to share my screen here so you can see our website, um, and I will show you where we host our daily community classes. So this is a new site that we were able to launch uh, right before coronavirus, which is super helpful to have an updated website where we were able to showcase our programs. So what we, de what we developed was an opportunity for people to join our daily community classes right here on this top member access button. And here, this takes you to both the live and the on-demand class page. So we'll start with the live page. Here's Sam Smith, our champion, um, our marathon running champion. And right here on the top of this page is where we have all of the links to join and watch live our group classes. What we decided to do is have a different class offered every day, sometimes two classes. And we wanted to give our our members and our agency partners the ability to have lots of meaningful content and opportunities where they could exercise and join our programs. So as you can see today, I, I taught, along with Sam, a superhero themed fitness class, which was a lot of fun. It was at 11 a.m., so it was about three hours ago, Eastern time. And all anybody had to do to join this class was click this watch button right at 11 or before or after. And these classes are hosted through Zoom webinar, which is uh, not too different from this. You join the class, you could see our trainers on the screen. Um, participants don't have their cameras on, which is our way of uh, ensuring everybody's privacy and security. And here you can see the variety of classes. So here's a little screenshot of the schedule. We have two different types of yoga classes, three different types of fitness classes, including cardio, balance, and strength. We have Zumba. We have boxing, we have meditation, and our newest class is actually healthy cooking. We have our healthy cooking class, which we just had our third class yesterday, which was really, really fun and had great turnout, such a high interest, much more than we had expected in our healthy cooking classes. So these classes are for anybody to join live. And what we wanted to do is be as flexible as possible um, so first, we wanted to have a wide variety, which as you can see, there's something for everyone. Maybe you're not a, a Zumba person. Maybe you're more into boxing, right? Maybe you don't want to do yoga. You want to do a strength class or vice versa. There's something for everyone. We gave our whole uh, wide spectrum of different class styles available for people. The second thing we wanted to do to be flexible was make these classes available anytime. So what we decided to do is right after the classes are done, airing live. We sometimes do some editing just to perfect them and tweak them so that they're going to be really high quality. And then we post them on our on-demand class page. So our on-demand class page hosts the same classes that are done live, but the recorded version of them. So you have that same quality, that same high energy and interactive experience. Um, but now these classes are available anytime. So here on the top, as you can see, this is this past week's classes. So later today, once we get our superhero fitness class up, it'll be here at the top of the list. And then this just goes backwards day by day. So anybody who's keeping up with our schedule can watch our class. Here's the recording of the healthy cooking class that we did earlier this week. And down here, we uh, store all of our previous class recordings in our library. So what's fun here is you could you could filter out your favorite class type. Maybe you really love the balance class or the strength class, or maybe you could filter out by your favorite trainer. Maybe you just love Abby or Christian, and then you could press OK, and it'll filter out just 
whichever class type or trainer you selected. And by having that option, it allows you to um, be able to make this class your own and work it into the schedule, not only the schedule that fits best for you, but the interests that are, that are most, um, most important to you. And from here, you could watch any of these classes, every single class that we put on live, we put here on our on-demand page. So there's lots of different content. Every single week, there's gonna be eight new classes added to our library. So this is our on-demand class page and how we make these classes available for people anytime. The third any that we like to highlight is these classes are available anywhere because we require no equipment when we teach our classes. Um, all we need people to have is some, some room to move around, some water close by, and maybe something to sit on, a chair. Some of our exercises require standing up to sitting down um, or use a chair because we like to make our classes as functional as possible, practicing the day-to-day -day routines that really help us and have a positive impact on our real life. And that's an important philosophy that we bring in is functionality to the exercises because there are so many exercise programs out there, all teaching maybe totally different things, and it's hard to know what is the right one, what's the most meaningful, effective one. And the ph philosophy that I learned um, getting into this field, I had a wonderful internship with uh, somebody named David Jacobs back where I grew up in Denver, Colorado, was functional movements, right? And making our exercises specifically correlate to how we move throughout the day. And so that's the rule we take to all of our classes. Every exercise we're practicing is something that we know is gonna correlate and help us with our day-to-day -day movement. And as long as you could understand the correlation between the exercise and the function, and we know it's a helpful thing to do. Because like we know, practice makes perfect. And all exercise is, is practicing our day-to-day -day routine. So if we practice the movements we do during the day, when we exercise, we know we're having a meaningful exercise experience. So that is the philosophy we take as we develop the program and come up with the exercises to teach. So in terms of the daily community classes, we talked about the variety of classes. We talked about their availability, both live and on demand. And one thing that um, is maybe the most exciting or most interesting aspect of the classes themselves is our multi-trainer model, which is really what we, um, what we put so much effort into in order to maintain our universal design. We want people of widely different abilities, whether it's physical or developmental, we want everybody to be able to experience these classes in a positive way. And so we have developed our multi-trainer model. Now, I know uh, we have a, a video that highlights this, and I have a hyperlink to it at the end, um, <clears throat> but we know that video sometimes doesn't translate so well through these webinars, so we're just gonna do, demonstrate this as much as we can through stills. Um, but what we do in our classes is we always have the main trainer leading the beginner or the baseline version of the exercise. So in this uh, photo here, this is a class that I taught leading a chair squat was the beginner version. So for me, I was just practicing standing up out of my chair and sitting back down. Nice and simple and obviously very functional. We make our exercises one to two step movements so as many people as possible can follow. So stand up, sit down. Here's David on the bottom. He's doing the seated version. So he's, instead of standing up and sitting down, he's reaching his hands up to the ceiling and reaching his hands down to the ground. So a really effective functional exercise that you can do from a chair. And then Marcella on the top right, she's doing a challenge version, kind of a combination of the two, where she's standing up and reaching her hands up to the ceiling, and then she's sitting back down and reaching down. And we put all three of these trainers on the screen at the same time so that anybody watching from home can follow along with the trainer that's doing the right version for them. And this is what's really special because we could have people in a residential home who maybe have four or five or six people, staff included, who are trying to participate. And maybe they're at totally different fitness levels. Some are brand new but comfortable standing. Others might be 
um, this is their first time and they want to stay sitting down or they use a wheelchair and they need to stay sitting down. And others might be more comfortable or more advanced exercising. And the beauty of this model is everybody can do the same class together no matter what your fitness level is. So here's a couple other versions. Here's a class that Abby is teaching and you can see beginner seated and advanced. Here as well, here's a class that Abel led, beginner seated, advanced. And Sam and me, same idea. There's always three trainers. And another cool thing to note is there's always a person, a self-advocate, a person with a disability on the screen. So our superstar here that we are gonna hear from shortly is David. You could see he's here on the top right in, the, in this um, first box. He's here on the bottom in this bottom left box. He's also here in the top right in the bottom right box. And he is our fitness demonstrator, one of our fitness demonstrators, who we're going to get to hear from. And the other beauty is, like here on the bottom right box, on the very bottom, this is Elias. And Elias is leading the challenge version of the exercises. And Elias also has autism. And like I said earlier, we want people with disabilities helping to demonstrate and lead our classes. And that doesn't just mean that the person with a disability is doing the beginner or the seated. In many cases, like Elias or Sam Smith, uh, the challenge version or the advanced versions are led by people with disabilities because um, they're super fit and other people should be learning from them. So at this stage, we do get the honor to hear from David, assuming the technology all works out. And David has been a part of Spirit Club and has hugely um, elevated Spirit Club since he joined um, many years ago. And I would like to uh, invite you, David, um, if you are available, to come and share some of your background and your experience with the group. Um, good afternoon, everyone. My name is David Godoy. I came from Ecuador, South America. Born with the disability has its difficult moments, but never impossible to achieve. And now that we are in the coronavirus uh, year 2020, I really, I really thought that me as a lead example that despite of despite of the situation um exercise can be possible for for all of us um, me doing the seed invasion it means that to the other people who are tuning in um are away, I, they said to myself if he if he is able to do the exercise doing the seed inversion, my son or daughter can do the exercise doing the seed in down version. So there's no limitations. There's endless possibilities in able to um, do the exercise. Like I said, despite of being in the coronavirus at the moment. So also after me teaching the classes. Uh, that, that ended at 12 noon, uh, around 1 o'clock p.m. or 2 o'clock p.m. I'm getting positive feedback for the own members themselves, and they told me, what a wonderful uh, class you taught us. Um, keep up with the good work. We, re we really like you, what you're doing. You really make the exercise very easy and simple to follow. So, and then I'm also think about the Spirit Club as um, a place of uh, to a place of uh, togetherness, a place of is a place of unite united, um, a place that has always have a positive energy, and we can count on each other no matter what. Um, I'm looking forward to continue. Um, doing my best and achieving the best possible that I can and be a good role model to everybody else. Um, if anybody wants to join 
the fitness, uh, virtual fitness classes, please join us. Um, we have um, Monday through Sunday classes, and I'm looking forward to do my continue doing my best. And I'm really appreciated for Jerry for being able to be higher in the and when we first met. Oh, I want to 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 tell you how we met with Jared. I met Jared um in a fundraising. It was a concert. Uh, I met Jared, her wife, her mother. It was um for me it was like when we first met it was like um for um something that um it was like a heaven it was a match made in heaven because he he gave me a handshake we gave each other handshakes we introduce ourselves and and I said um I want to uh join the fundraising efforts and trying to raise money for spirit clubs so that was um tr tremendous thing for me and that's how our relationship started and later in a few months later I applied to be a receptionist in the front desk and I started greeting people uh, when um, I told them, my parents the good news about being hired. They were happy for me. And, and until this day that I'm teaching virtual classes, my mother, my sister, and my father always tell me, um, thank you for Spirit Club for being able for you to demonstrate that anything is possible, no matter what disabilities you have. So my own parents, my own friends are always commenting the what a beautiful what a beautiful job you're doing that despite of the coronavirus, you can still demonstrate a sitting down version of exercise. Awesome, Thank Dave. You. Thank you so much. That was so nice. Now, we can hear all the people clapping, but I'm sure there's a lot of claps for you, David. You are a absolute champion, and I don't know really where we would be without you. So, Jared, thanks, Jared, Jared yeah. there's, there's um, a comment just came through, and I wanted to read it before we go on. Okay. It's from Raquel. Amazing, David. Thank you for sharing your thoughts and experiences with Spirit Club. I can really tell that there is a sense of unity and positive vibes. I will definitely encourage my program participants to check this club out. So thank you. And it's coming. You, you inspire us, David, and great job. So thank you, David. You're welcome. Awesome. David, that was great. And uh, thank you for that wonderful thank comment. You. Looking at those other comments, I do see some great questions about how to get in contact with Spirit Club, how to join classes, what's the cost of the classes. So we're going to dive into that now. From my understanding, um, there's a lot of people here um, or who will be watching this who are representatives from organizations. And so what I want to talk about is a couple different ways that the agencies who we work with, who we share programs with, um, uh, how our organizational partners utilize these classes. So the first one is um, probably the more obvious, the obvious one, where we partner with organizations because we know that organizations are the key, right? You all are the key to um, providing meaningful opportunities. People, families, and the community, they're looking to you as their provider, as a resource center, for programs, activities, and uh, positive things to do. So we partner with agencies and allow people who are affiliated with the agencies, which includes both uh, participants, obviously, and also staff, 
to have direct access to join Spirit Club's classes online straight through our website. So when we partner up with an agency, we create a password for the organization that gives them access to those two web pages that I was showing you earlier. Um, that's the, the on-demand class page and the live class page where all of our classes are stored. And once you have that password, we encourage our agency partners to share that password with their staff and with all of their participants so that everybody could have unlimited access to our classes. And any day, any time they want, they could go do a boxing class or a yoga class and fit it into their schedule on an individualized basis. The second way, which is kind of like a discovery that, that we didn't even intend until we got this far, right? We're all learning a lot of new things in today's day and age. Uh, this was a very popular option that we found, particularly with organizations who are trying to offer their own services, their own virtual day program, their own virtual classes, um, and they're looking to, to be able to share uh, leadership when it comes to exercise, opportunities for people to work out. And we found a lot of these agencies were struggling, either having their own staff trying to lead fitness, um, which if that's not your background, that could be a, a real challenge. Or, you know, searching through YouTube to try to find fitness classes or adaptive fitness or seated yoga was a big one who our organizations we were talking to are utilizing. So what we, what we designed was an opportunity for organizations to schedule what we call watch parties, uh, where participants and staff can participate in our classes as a group. And if you're familiar with screen sharing, this is gonna be obvious. If you're not, this might sound really bizarre until you experience it. But what this allows for, here's a little image on the bottom. This allows for a Spirit Club class to be played. So you can see in the background, there's I'm on the top left, Marcel is on the top right, David's on the bottom. And what you do is you create your own virtual meeting, like a Zoom meeting or whatever your platform is. And from there, you could have up to 100 people from 100 different locations all logged in, right? Maybe it's, maybe it's 15 different residential homes, or maybe it's 50 different people from their own families' houses. And once they're all in there, you have that community feel and that social component where people get to see and hear each other. And from there, all you need is a staff member to share their screen and pull up a Spirit Club class from our on-demand page and press play. And from there, you get to have everyone who's logged into your session all watching and participating in the same class designed and led by Spirit Club, almost the same feel if they're doing the live class, but they're doing it together as a community where they can see each other and talk to each other while they work out. So this is a screenshot I took of an agency class doing a, a watch party, which is what we do for our demo classes. And here you could see one, two, three, four, five, six, 16 different devices logged in, some from a residential home, some from their family's homes, all there seeing and talking to each other while participating in this class. And one of our agency partners who we work with, they, they're all about this watch party format where they say five days a week, we're gonna schedule exercise and we're gonna invite all of our participants into the session. And once they're all there, we're gonna socialize for a bit and then we're gonna play a different Spirit Club class each day. So Monday it's fitness, Tuesday it's boxing, Wednesday it's yoga, Thursday it's Zumba. And they're using our classes for their content and they're filling an hour long of exercise every single day. And all they have to do as a staff is host the meeting, share their screen and press play. And we encourage them to work out, right? You might as well get a good workout and encourage the people there to do it. But really they don't need to, right? They could just kind of take it easy, catch up on paperwork, be there to host the meeting and use our classes to provide the, the um, instruction and the content. Um, so this is a very popular way. And the combination of these two is really powerful because it allows each individual to utilize these classes on their own whether it's a residential home, and maybe the watch party format doesn't work because people are on different schedules, right? Maybe you have a residential home who's, they're doing a different activity at that time, and you just wanna give them access and the ability to do their classes on their own. You get to do that. And you also get to schedule your own exercise sessions as a part of your own programming. 
So we always bundle these together. We say share the password with the participants and staff, and also host your own watch parties, host your own communal group exercise sessions, and we will teach you and walk you through the steps for how to do both of those two options. Um, so at this stage, um, I just want to give you a quick snapshot of some of the agencies we're working with. Um, this list is about a week old, and we actually just had three new agencies sign up this past week. So we're a little dated here. We just wanted to highlight some of the different agencies who are utilizing our daily community classes. I really love to see the different states on here because, uh, you know, this is a dream for us to be uh, have a national reach. And now, thanks to your virtual platform, we're able to. Now, here's a photo that, that an agency, this is from SCART. They sent us this photo of one of their program participants right after he did a class and they shared this testimonial um, of him saying that he's doing things he never thought he could do before. Um, and what we did is we sent him a t-shirt after they sent us this picture because we really wanna stay engaged. We don't wanna just hand these programs over and say, you know, have fun. We wanna stay involved with our agency partners and help incentivize people to join classes, provide Spirit Club t-shirts that look like this if you're able to, to see my camera and be a part of the process and the journey for everybody along the way. And a couple other testimonials on the right from LifeWorks in Massachusetts and the Arc of High Point, um, just sharing their positive words. And we're also very lucky to have a live testimonial from one of our early on agency partners who signed up for these classes, um, uh, hoping that Steve is able to hear us. And uh, Steve was a, a really awesome partner who we had the chance to meet from the Arc of Haywood County. And right off the bat, he really you know, showed that he understood the value of exercise and also understood the challenges of giving people opportunities to exercise um, through this pandemic and very kindly offered to share a few words about their experiences so far. So, Steve, if you are here, thank you so much and welcome. Can everybody hear me? Yes. Great. Thank you, Jared, for having me on. I'm sure glad I didn't have to follow up behind David because David did an awesome job and you and I, I can compete with you, but I'm not sure about David. He has definitely been a, been a huge uh, success for us. Just a quick background. We run a small agency in the western part of North Carolina. We are, we're a small facility that operates uh, four individual group homes and we have individuals that live in the community. And uh, I, I received an email in my email and We've been really struggling because our guys, typically individuals we serve, go to a day program every day. And as most of you all, I'm sure, that are online, since uh, February 10th, we have been totally shut down and not been able to do anything or go to any of our day programs. And we were desperately looking for some type of physical activity. Uh, we had memberships to local uh, recreation departments, but those also have shut down. So we were lucky to uh, meet Jared and his team and be able to strike a deal with the Spirit Club. And I can I can give you 100% guarantee that the guys in our programs absolutely love the programs. We we have done uh, the watch parties, and we've also done the online version. Uh, sometimes it's difficult for us to get our schedules together, and the individuals that are in our programs love the exercises, so they schedule their own time, go into the library, find uh, a lot of my guys are into um, Zumba, and they love the Zumba classes and have gone into those. And uh, we, we've had a little bit of issue with technology on the on the watch parties, but that's on our end, not on, on the Spirit Club's end, and we're trying to coordinate them. But as all of you all know, none of my guys have seen each other basically in six months, other than a few birthday parties where we had drive-bys. But uh, they were ecstatic to be able to get online. And, in fact, Jared was in one of the classes where we brought everybody online and it took us 15 minutes to get everybody to, to, to be able to talk to everybody and, and, and say hello to everybody. So it's, it's been great. We, we thoroughly enjoy it. It's been an access for us to provide some type of physical activity. Uh, most of them are doing it two to three times a week and, uh, they have scheduled, uh, watch parties. I think they're trying to do it at least once a week or, or once every other week, trying to coordinate all of them together. But, we're very excited to be uh, on board with them. We were able to secure a grant to help pay for the fees, but uh, our team is already committed. Jared doesn't know this, but when our uh, contract runs out, he can be rest assured that we're going to continue 
using their services. We've been very excited. They're very helpful. Uh, they've been to a couple of our staff meetings and done actual trainings with our staff. Um, they, they've been very responsive. If I send an email, we get uh, immediate response back because, you know, I'm kind of older, as you can tell in the picture, and I'm a little bit challenged technology, technologically. So, but they've been great and, and we really appreciate them. And, uh, he hasn't paid me a thing to say this, but our guys truly, truly have enjoyed being a part of the Spirit Club and we look forward to a long relationship with them. Thank you so much, Steve. That's awesome. Music to my ears to know that, you know, it's working well for you guys. So, yeah, we're very lucky uh, as well to have great agency partners like Steve and the Ark of Haywood County. And we are actively always looking for more partners. The beauty of a virtual technological platform is it is so easy to scale these classes out and to add more users and more partners. It's just the, the matter of creating a password for your organization, and you can go straight into the site, and we schedule a kickoff meeting to walk you through how to utilize the classes. It's all very straightforward and user-friendly, but just in case, you know, we're here to walk you through it. Um, I do want to also highlight Spirit Club Foundation, which is a wonderful foundation created about two years after we started to help increase access to programming because we knew that there were some people out there who wanted these types of activities, um, but maybe didn't have any finances to pay for them or technology to participate in them. So now in the, in the coronavirus day and age, the foundation provides program grants to agency partners who are interested in utilizing the programs. Also provides technological support to individuals and homes such as tablets or HDMI cords so that you can project a class maybe from a small screen up onto the TV screen. So if you have a group of people, they could all, you know, they don't have to huddle around a little iPad. They could all do the class with some space and see it easily. Um, and also scholarships to individuals for personal training or partner training for those who want that more one-on-one -on -one experience. So this is a really great resource. And any organization we're talking to who maybe has some access issues, um, you're interested, but, you know, you need some support in these areas, we are happy to connect you with the foundation. I did see some questions on here about how to get started. First thing we like to do is schedule a free demo. We want to make sure you know what you're getting into before you sign up for anything. So we would love to schedule a demo for your group, for your agency. Um, you tell us a date and a time, and we will put it on our calendar, and we will host everybody in a Zoom meeting or whatever platform you prefer, and then we will come on and introduce ourselves, talk about Spirit Club for 30 seconds, and then um, display a exercise class so that everybody can try it out. And you can schedule your demo or just reach out to ask questions at this email address. It is join, J-O-I-N, at spirit-club.com. A couple other resources that you guys will have once uh, we send this, this uh, deck out to you. Our website's right here, spiritclub or spirit-club.com. Here's a nice video that kind of showcases our multi-trainer model. Um, so you could actually see what a class looks like and how that breaks down. And here's a really nice video that we have. We asked all of our members to take videos of themselves working out and send it to us. So then we put those, mash those all together. So you got a great little two minute video of all of our, many of our members working out from home. And here's some contact info down here. Um, I did also see a question in the chat about price. Um, what we do for our virtual programming is we decided to switch all of our virtual programming, uh, our pricing for virtual services, over to what we call a pay-what-you-can model. And so what we do is we will give you a price um, that you know, we know would help cover our costs and is you know, the market value for what other organizations roughly your size might be paying for access to these classes. And we will um, give you a price quote. We'll walk you through it and walk you through the benefits and what the costs are. Um, but then we look to you to, to tell us if it fits your budget. We know every organization is different, every budget is different, so the price that another agency your size might pay, might not, um, you might not be able to pay. And so far in all the agencies we work with, we give a price quote for access to the classes. We base that quote off of the total number of participants who they would foresee utilizing and participating in the classes. 
of all the agencies we work with, two of them so far have said, we, we're really interested, we value your program, but you know, the cost uh, is out of our budget. We said to them, no, okay, no problem. You know, you tell us what's, what fits your budget better. They told us the price that they could afford and we were happy to work with them and provide the same access to classes um, and to be as flexible as we can with our partners. So in terms of price, we customize it for you. We'll give you a custom price based off of the, or the size of your organization. Maybe you have 20 people, maybe you have 300 people. We obviously wouldn't want to give the same price to both organizations. Um, but then we look to you for your feedback. And if you say that fits your budget, that's our goal. But if you say it doesn't, can we be flexible? We will say yes. So I hope that is helpful in answering the question about pricing. And this is, as you can see, is our thank you slide. And I know I, I, I tried, I tried, but I did not save a lot of time for questions but I would love to answer any questions in the remaining time that we have. Yeah, thank you, Jared, David, and Steve. Um, I'm just going to dive straight into the questions because we have so little time. Uh, one of the questions that just, just came through is about membership costs. Um, how much does it, an, an individual membership cost? Great question. So I'm, same ass I'm assuming for family member, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, so same philosophy in terms of pay what you can. What we do is we have our, our full price, which is we kept it the same. What, what people were paying before coronavirus to have access to our group classes was $89 a month. So we said to people for virtual classes, are you comfortable continuing to pay that? Many of them were, so we said thank you. To new members, we say, are you comfortable paying $89 a month? Some say yes, and some say no. For those who say no, we do the exact same thing we do with agencies. We say, you tell us what you're comfortable paying. And if I'm being completely transparent, we have some people who pay 89, we have some people who pay $5 a month. And we are happy to give access to unlimited access to all of our classes for both of those two people. We don't want cost to be a barrier. So if you are interested in classes and you're thinking, but can I afford it? Rest assured, you can afford it because you can tell us what you're comfortable paying. Thank you. Um, would your classes be shareable via Zoom? I would be screen sharing the material with my participants. I have a health and wellness class and I've been using YouTube for my material that is, uh, and this is a, such a great program. Yes, that's, ex that's our, our platform. So that's exactly how we could, we could best advise you if you are using Zoom. It's very simple. Um, here, I'll share the, our website. So if you were on our website in a Zoom meeting, and then you pulled up a class, right? Let's just click on this class. And then you shared your screen on Zoom. And then you made this full screen and you pressed play. Then everybody who's in your Zoom meeting would be able to watch this class as if they're watching it on their own screen. And based on your question, it sounds like you already know how to do that. So the short answer to your question is yes, absolutely. You can screen share these classes through Zoom. And since you already know, that's awesome. But either way, we'll walk you through the tips and tools that we've learned, like, you know, checking the share sound box so that the music for the class shines through and the instructions shine through crystal clear. And uh, yeah, all the, most of the agency partners who do the watch parties do screen sharing through Zoom and it's very, very successful. So absolutely, that's a great, a great uh, model for you. Thank you. Um... Is the view party option only for pre-recorded classes or live as well? Great question. So if you are using Zoom and you have your own Zoom meeting and everyone's in there together, then I would steer you away from then trying to enter the live class for your watch party because then you're basically trying to do a Zoom within a Zoom because our live class is hosted on a Zoom webinar and you're already in a Zoom meeting with your group. So I would say, um, we've found the most straightforward success to be using the on-demand classes. So once the class is done and you get the recording on demand, that's where I'd share my screen and do the, do the watch party. Um, it, feels, it feels virtually identical, virtually identical to doing the live class because our live classes are on webinar where it's just the trainers there anyways and we're talking to everyone as if we could see them but we can't. So whether you're doing it live or you're doing it on demand, you, you actually get 
virtually the exact same experience. So for simplicity, I would do your watch parties with the on-demand classes, because then you could pause the class, you could rewind, you could fast forward, you could stop in the middle if you guys are crunched for time. So doing the on-demand version of the watch party um, is gonna be your most technologically convenient way to go. Do you guys work to purchase orders or school districts for payments? Uh, yeah, we're super flexible. You know, we, we just send out an invoice and you could pay by a check or a credit card or purchase order. You could tell us what that is, but I'm sure the answer is yes. Okay. Are you in line with DDS regulations? Um, well, yeah, so in, in Maryland, um, we, we're working under DDA, um, Developmental Disabilities Administration. I know DC, it's DDS, which we're also just recently became a, a DDS provider. Um, so uh, it's, it's, I don't know the exact extent of what, you're, uh, what you have in mind about that question, but I could tell you that you know, all of our trainers have that, that DDA certification. Um, that is not required in this field, but is something extra that we want our trainers to have. Um, and um, yeah, we work very closely um, under DDA, DDS. Um, that's you know who we who we use as our. We hold our standards for ourselves up to those regulations. So I would like to say that the short answer to that question is yes. And if you have more specific questions about it, um, I'd be happy to answer them. Um, just so everybody knows, might my personal email and I'd be happy to follow up with anybody who is generous enough to share this much of your time with me is uh, in the chat. It's my first name, Jared, J-A-R-E-D, at spirit-club.com. I have reposted it to everyone in the chat as oh, well. Awesome. Um, all right, um, in the, I just wanna make sure I'm mindful of time. Thank you everyone who have attended. Um, we have recorded and um, we will be sharing this recording shortly with the next the next couple of days if we're going to stick around the presenters and i and if you have any other uh, follow-up questions please ask them now or feel free to contact jared um, directly um, feel free to sign off and thank you again and thank you to jared david and steve this was really wonderful um, I did not read off all these amazing um, comments, but a lot of people really enjoyed your presentation. So, um, Jared, any chance the two of us can connect after this for five minutes? Can I, sure, can I just like, um, yeah, can you just um, privately uh, text me your cell phone so I can call you? Yes, I will do that. All right, I'm, I'm gonna be monitoring to see if there are any questions. 